Should you live in North Claremont or South Claremont? Today we're gonna to take a driving tour from the south end of Claremont all the way up to the north, and we're gonna be covering lifestyles, housing, neighborhoods, amenities, everything you need to know before making the right decision on where's best for you and your family. South Claremont, we are going to be driving to the north side of Claremont. Let's first define North and South Claremont. For South Claremont, we are considering the zip code 34714. And for North Claremont, we're considering the zip code of 34711. There are definitely some big differences between living in the North and South End. And we're going to be discussing all of those as we go along our tour. And we're even going to get to stop by a lot of the communities along the way. Okay, we are about to pull out over here onto Highway 27. Highway 27 is the main road that connects North and South Claremont. This area is considered Kagan's Crossings and Four Corners. Uh, what's unique about Four Corners is that four counties all touch together. You have Lake County, Orange County, Polk County, and Osceola County all here in this area. Kagan's Crossings has some shopping and dining options. So you have a local Walmart, um, different restaurants, Lowe's. So you definitely have a little bit more commercial space here and you gotta have Chick-fil-A, <laughs> that's important. One thing to notice as well, Claremont is generally known to be the gem of the hills. So it's known for its rolling hills and beautiful vistas. It's one of the higher elevations in the state. In South Claremont, while there might be some, some minor hills here and there, it's still relatively flat until you get more into the north side of Claremont. One thing you'll notice a lot with South Claremont is there's a lot of development happening. Here on the left, we're about to pass the new Pulte community. There's also tons of apartments that are coming in for like luxury apartment living. All right, now we're pulling into probably one of my favorite communities here in South Claremont called Saranoa. You have a ton of different builders that have built in this master plan community. DR Horton is one of the builders. They have the 55 plus community uh, called Palms at Saranoa that has incredible values for our retirement community. And then they're building a brand new community called Edgemont that is starting to build probably either by the end of this year or early next year. Then you have Saranoa Lakes, which is also an established community. That one's being built by Pulte Homes. That community has a lot of added features that are unique to just their community, like a kayak launch pad um, and lake access. All of these neighborhoods will have shared access to the amenities here in Saranoa, which is like the the pools, the clubhouses, the fitness center. Not only is it super tucked away in the back, so it's really just quiet and peaceful. It's surrounded by trees, but they have really great walking trails and sidewalks. So you're constantly seeing people running, walking their dogs and just being outdoors. The developers here really wanted to create a feel for a modern day oasis. That's giving residents a, a, a combination of nature and conservation areas and modern day amenities. All right, we just pulled up to the very end of the Saranoa community. Right now it's a dead end street, but that's because this is where the connection road is going to come into play in January, 2026. That's gonna connect to Avalon Road in Winter Garden. That is going to be game changer for the residents in this community because it's gonna add that so much value to have connection now 10 minutes to Disney and you'll have access now to other communities like Hamlin and Winter Garden and Horizon West where those communities offer so much in dining, entertainment and shopping options. So it really is gonna be a game changer for these residents here in Saranoa. Another great benefit with being here in South Claremont compared to North Claremont is your median sales price. You are gonna save lots of money if you choose to move to South Claremont compared to North Claremont. The median sales price currently is around $425,000 
for a home here in South Claremont compared to $460,000 in North Claremont for the same type of home. If you wanna learn more about the builders and homes here in Saranoa and a little bit more about the community, we did shoot a video about that that I will link in the description below. So make sure to check that out if you wanna get more details about the different communities within Saranoa. All right, we're getting back on to 27 now. I think really the biggest difference between North and South Claremont is going to be proximity to entertainment and the parks. When I think of South Claremont, I do think more of vacation. People that are in proximity to the tourists, there's resorts everywhere, lots of vacation rentals. You have a lot of the people that work in the parks that's gonna be the bigger feel for the community. North Claremont is going to have more of a community family feel. So there's gonna be a lot more events that happen downtown, things like Pig on the Pond, Sips and Salsa festivals. We just had Taste of South Lake. Every Friday, the first Friday of every month, there's food trucks. It's probably one of my favorite events that we go to because you get every month, you get new food trucks that come through and they um, cycle them out. So it's always something new every month. So you're not gonna have that in South Claremont. Another big factor of difference in North and South Claremont is you're gonna be surrounded by lakes. You have Waterfront Park, you're surrounded by Lake Louisa, Lake Minnehaha, Lake Mineola all of these chain of lakes that we have access to. So if you like that boating lifestyle or that lake life, North Claremont is gonna offer you that. In South Claremont, you won't have the access to the chain of lakes like you do in North Claremont. So really to sum up the main differences with North and South Claremont, if you want to have proximity to the chain of lakes and be more active lifestyle, have more community events, to attend with your family, then North Claremont is going to be where you want to be. But if you're looking to have proximity to the parks and you want to have more options for shopping and dining and be closer to Disney Springs and, and those kinds of things, then South Claremont is definitely where you want to be. So we are now in the Ridgeview community right off of 27. Um, what I love about this community is if you have gotten this far in the video and you're sitting there thinking, gosh, I like both. Well, Ridgeview is your perfect blend of both because Ridgeview sits really in between both North and South Claremont. So Ridgeview is that perfect middle ground if you're kind of torn between both communities. I'm not really sure if I would categorize it as one or the other. It's almost a category all its own. One of the things that's amazing about Ridgeview is that this is where the Olympus project is going to be taking place. This is a master plan community that's gonna have tons of health sports plexes, all around with lots of entertainment options and dining options, as well as lots of housing that's around it. So it's kind of gonna be something brand new to our area. We'll be doing a video more on that. So definitely you wanna like and subscribe. I think one of the best values of living here in Ridgeview, and part of the reason why it's more expensive, I think, is because you're gonna have proximity to and access, the direct access to the Olympus project once it's completed. What I love about Claremont is that you have that suburban feel and proximity to all of the development and big city access like into Orlando, just 30 minutes away. But you also have these incredible little places where you can just step away, just minutes away from where you live and feel like you're in a remote part of the state. <laughs> it's it's so unique. So Lake Louisa State Park, if you go through there, you can camp in there, you can um, go horseback riding. There is so much nature and ser like serene landscapes that is just like, you don't even feel like you're anywhere near a big city. Another place that I absolutely love uh, uh, is Southern Hills Farms, where I remember the first day I went there, I literally thought I had left Florida and went to 
a completely rural town. It was just such a um, a unique experience because you you get to go at different times of the year. You can go um, blueberry picking, strawberry picking. They have incredible sunflower fields, which are incredible for photos. They have the most amazing treats ever, and they're all themed towards whatever fruit that they have in season. So like, I promise you the strawberry season has the best treats. Yeah, and you get to pick your own fruit and it's the most fresh taste. So, oh, I love it. All right, let's talk about schools because families with kids, this is gonna be a very important factor in your decision-making. Florida is a school of choice state, which means that you do have the choice as a parent that if you want to take your child to a different school than you're zoned for, you have the ability to do that as long as that there's room available. With that said, North Claremont has a lot more school options than South Claremont. In South Claremont, I will say because there's a lot of development happening, there's definitely more schools that are coming in. You definitely have lots of great options between public schools, charter schools, private schools, um, but you definitely seem to have a lot more options in North Claremont. So if you're a parent that wants to exercise that school of choice option and you live in South Claremont, you have that ability, but you may be driving your child to school 30 minutes each way that over time that may not be the best thing for your family and that may influence you to decide to live closer to the school district that you want to be in or just be in North Claremont where maybe it's only a 10 minute drive to the school or 15 minutes. That's definitely a factor to consider. All right, let's talk about housing options. If you love that old charm and you want to have a home that was say built in the early 1900s with tons of character then you have to be in downtown claremont because that's the only place you're gonna find homes that old because the majority of homes in claremont both north and south were really built in the last 20 years there's a huge boom now so a lot of year, uh, homes have also been built really in the last five or ten years as well there are lots of new construction options going on in south claremont but they're going to have more like resort style amenities which brings higher hoa fees so that's something to also consider um, lots of communities in the north side of claremont and in mineola that are going to have lower hoa fees and still have good community amenities but they won't be so resort like Although some can beg to differ because I think there there are definitely some that are gonna like Del Webb in Mineola. I, I think I've mentioned this in, in a previous video if you've, if you've seen that one before, but man, I would totally live there. If you wanna check out that video, I'll also add that to the description below. So now we're heading to the north side of Claremont to one of my favorite communities that is being developed. It's technically the town of Mineola, but I still consider it the north side of Claremont as many of the residents do as well. It's one of my favorite communities because of all of the amazing things that are gonna come into this community. So there's gonna be a ton of commercial that's coming, which is more of what I am really excited about. Um, the new Crooked Can, there's gonna have lots of shops and there's gonna be a new town center that's going to be similar to like Winter Garden Village, which is where we typically will go for that type of shopping experience. So we're gonna have all of that here in Claremont. If you want to learn more about the Hills of Mineola, there's a video that we did on it that you should check out, which will also be listed in the description below. So one of the perks about living in North Claremont is that if you need to work in downtown Orlando, being right by the turnpike is really what's going to help you to cut down your commute times. Here we're pulling into Dreamfinders. So some of the other builders that are in this community are Ashton Woods, Starlight Homes, Meritage, who has already sold out Pulte's Del Webb, which is kind of it's on its own um, on the north side of this community. 
So Dream Finders starts in the low to mid 400s. In general, the home prices here in Hills of Mineola are gonna feel a little bit more expensive than the median, but that's mostly because of all of the options that are coming in with the entertainment, dining and shopping that's going to be here. You're just gonna have a little bit more of a price difference, but you still have some affordable options. There's one more factor that I totally forgot to mention that is what is going to make Hills of Mineola a really game changer community is that you're going to have the golf cart access to be able to go to all the shopping and dining across the street. You're going to have that feature. And it's going to be the only place in Claremont that has it. And that is something that is super exciting. And it's definitely going to be something that's going to factor in the decision making for a lot of people. Now we're heading to downtown Claremont to wrap up this video because I'm hungry and that is one of my favorite places for a quick bite. In summary, you can't go wrong with either or. It really just depends on what your personal preferences are. Here in North Claremont would be for you if you can really take advantage of the lake life, the outdoor activities, and all of the community events that happen here in downtown, if you don't mind paying a little bit more for it. South Claremont's gonna be for you if you wanna find more affordability and have access to more shopping, dining, and entertainment options, and can take advantage of being right there next to all the parks. All right, that was a really long video, so I'm gonna go grab a bite to eat. I'll see you on the next one.